Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a wall workout for you. If you are like me and you have wooden floors, I do suggest you lay down a mat to keep you center. Um, you are also going to need a good, decent space of uh, wall to use. Um, we will be opening our legs and closing them, so you will need that kind of space. Also, I recommend you wear socks so that you're easily able to slide up and down on uh, the wall, and it also keeps you centered. So come on down on your mat or floor, and um, what we are going to do is I want you to sit with your bum closest to the wall as possible, lay down on your back, uh, press your hands down into the floor, put your feet up on the wall here, flat feet, and as you can see, I do have socks on to help. Push your hands into the floor, and what I want you to do is lift that butt up into a straight flat. So when you look up, you should be nice and flat, squeezing the cheeks behind you, and then you're gonna go slowly right back down, and then lift up. We are gonna do this a couple of times. We are keeping our feet nice and flat against that wall. Up, go all the way up, and then all the way down, go nice and slow. Up and down. I am holding it for a couple of seconds while I am up here. And then I go right back down. This last one, we are going to hold it up. So hold it up right here, and I want you to uh, walk out your legs to a straight, and then bend them again. So you're going flat foot to on top of your toes to straight, bend, and then straight. Making sure you're keeping this part of your body up. So this part is solid, it does not move. My stomach is in nice and tight. I'm just walking those legs out to bending and then to straight. Bend and then to straight. Now let's switch legs. So now it's gonna be the left leg I'm going to bend first and then I'm going to straighten it. Keeping my hips up the whole time. My butt cheeks are being squeezed behind me. You should start to feel this in your legs and butt area if you haven't already. Making sure to push down into that floor with your hands on both sides. That engages the abs even more. All right, let's do three more. Three, two, last one. There we go, and slowly bring that down. I'm gonna fix my shirt because I just almost choked myself. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to slide back down because you do have a habit of traveling when you are doing these types of workouts. So come all the way down. I want your toes to be, um, so I want you to bend your knees all the way to where your toes are on the wall and not your heels. What I'm gonna have you do is you're going to walk up right here. We're gonna tap out to one side. We're gonna tap out to the other side. And then we're gonna walk back down on our tippy toes all the way down here in this position. I'm going to readjust myself. If you need to, too, do that now. All right, push your hands into that ground. Make sure you're on your tippy toes. Here we go. Tippy toe all the way up. Straight leg. Open up your right. Open up your left. Get back on those tippy toes and bring it all the way back down to that ground and up again all the way up, straight leg, open up the right, open up the left, bringing it down on your tippy toes. Now, if you don't wanna open up your legs that much, you do not have to. Remember, this is your workout. Do the level you can. You can just do this if you need to, whatever works for you. Just make sure you're up on those tippy toes when you're going up and going down. Here we go, up again. Walking up that wall, straight leg, open up right, open up left, bringing it down 
tippy toes. All right, you guys, we're gonna do this two more times. So bring that all the way up, open to the right, open to the left, and bring it back down. One more time, here we go, bring it up, straight legs, open to the right, open to the left, and bring it down on your tippy toes. Nice job, guys. All right, I'm going to adjust myself again. Um, throughout this workout, you are going to have to adjust yourself. It does move you back. So just be aware of how far you are away from that wall. You want to make sure you get as close to it as you can. Like I can touch it with my hand. If you cannot touch it with your hand, you're back too far. So scoot yourself up. All right, so the next one we are going to do, we just did those open and close. So we're gonna get in that position. So we're gonna get to our position where we're straight legs, but I want you to have flat feet. So my feet are flat on the surface. My stomach is in nice and tight, and I'm in a nice long line. My hands are right here. We're just gonna open and close. Right, left, right, left. We're just gonna go side to side, flat feet, holding the position of your hips up, squeezing those cheeks behind you, pushing those hands into the floor. We have five more. Here's five, four, three, two, one more and one, bring that right back down. Nice job, guys. All right, I have to readjust myself because I definitely scooted back on that one. All right, I can touch the wall. Can you touch the wall? If you can, we are ready to move on. All right, now put your hand, um, straighten your legs for me, uh, point those toes towards you. You want flex feet. That means your heel is in the wall. You're gonna be right here, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna come up, you're going to bend one knee, the other one goes flat like this, and then you're gonna go right back down and you're gonna bend the other knee. It's very little, it's just bending, bend, bend. So you just lift up just a little bit, keeping those abs nice and tight, very little, bend here. It doesn't lift you up that much at all. You're really isolating those leg muscles, as you can probably feel right now. I know I am feeling mine. They are burning. All right, here we go. We have five more. Five, four, three, two, one more, one. Nice. All right, bend those just a little bit. Let's get a little stretch. So I want you to get really close to that wall. My butt is actually touching it now. I am I'm almost flat-handed on the wall. I want you to get right close to it. Get your feet together. Open up those legs if you can. And I want you to just push those knees. Don't go on your knees, though. I want you in the inner thigh and push those knees towards that wall if you can. And listen, if you can't, if you can't go like me as far down, that's okay. If this is where you're at, this is where you're at, just pull them open as much as you can, wherever your level is, and just hold. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice, all right. I'm gonna scoot back just a little bit. I'm wearing the wrong shirt for this workout. <laughs> all right, you guys, I can touch my wall. Can you touch your wall? All right, what we're gonna do is you're gonna slide up. You're gonna slide open, close, and then down. This is where the socks come in handy. We're just gonna do five, and then we're gonna readjust because it does push you backwards. So we're gonna do five of these bad boys. So get those feet together, knees together. Here we go. Slide it up, slide it open, close, and then down. My feet are flat the whole time. I am not on my tippy toes. My stomach's in nice and tight. I'm not lifting all the way up, just a little bit. We have two more before we adjust ourselves. Nice, one more. Bring it up, slide it open, slide it close, 
down. I'm going to adjust myself. All right, here we go. We're going to go up again. So up straight, flat feet, open, close, and then down. Having those hands towards the ground here. Here we go. Up, open, close, down. Up, open, close, down. Great job, guys. Remember, we're not lifting too far up off that floor. It's not like in the beginning of this workout. All right, we have two more. Last one. Nice. Now, uh, we're gonna adjust ourselves. We're gonna do two sets of five of the next one. The next one, you're gonna go out wide, you're gonna go together, and then you're gonna bring them down. This one's a little bit more tricky. <laughs> I did not practice this before going on tape. <laughs> so here we go. You're gonna go nice and wide, close, together. So you're just doing the opposite of what you just did. So go out wide into a V, close them together. Feet are flat against the wall. Stomach has to be really tight, guys. This is a great workout. Great leg toner, butt toner, hip flexor. Woo. All right, let's do one more. I know, that was five. Let's do a bonus. All right, I'm gonna adjust myself again. And we're gonna do another set of five, plus the bonus, but we'll just do five this time. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Out wide, together, down. Out wide, together, down. Out wide, together, down. Two more. Remember with these, you're not lifting up that much. Bring it up, together, down. Woo! I seriously felt that. Hopefully you did too. All right, you guys. Get that butt super close to that wall again. Let's stretch out. Get those feet together, heel to heel, toes to toes, and bring down those knees if you can. Remember, don't, um, don't be pushing on the knee. You wanna be inside that thigh. And again, if this is as far as you can go, that's okay. Wherever you can, just open it up. Breathing in and breathing out. Nice and relaxed. All right, you guys, we have one more move here, and then we're going to do abs. All right, first on the wall, get yourself right like this, just normal. So just have your feet out, flat, feet, uh, flat foot against that wall. Hands are right here, push down to that ground. It engages those abs even more. We're gonna lift up. You're going to alternate those legs. Flat feet, just alternating those legs, bringing them in as much as you can. If this is all you got, this is okay. Wherever you are, whatever you can do, just keep moving. All right, we're gonna do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Now up on those toes, same thing, but not that much. So these are very little, right like that. Toes are pointed, you're on your tippy toes, just a little bit. All right, we have 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, release. Woo! Oh, I always feel those ones on the toes. Whoa. All right, you guys, scoop back just a little bit. Feet are just nice and comfortable along the wall. Open up your legs just a little bit. Hands behind the head. We are going to do crunches. Make sure that chin is up. Look at something on the ceiling, keep your eyes on it. Don't use your hands to pull that neck. They're just chilling here, just hanging out behind your head. Lift up and then down. 
You want to make sure you lift up that shoulder blade. So get that shoulder blade up off that ground, crunch it up, and then down. Crunch it up, and then down. Nice and slow. Take your time with these. Don't speed through it. As you notice, I'm kind of holding it for one, two, three, and then I release. Up again, one, two, three, release. Watch those shoulder blades, make sure they're up off that ground. And when I come up, I'm pushing my belly down into the ground. I'm making sure not to blow it out. Push that spine into that ground, belly button into the spine, whatever helps you. One more. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is drop one hand. We're gonna bring a knee up and we're gonna meet it with our elbow. And then we're gonna go right back down here. It's just a little twist right there and then right back down. This is three, four, hold it for a two count, five. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Nice job, guys. Woo, keep it going. All right, we have two more on this side, one, and two. All right, bend that other elbow behind the head, drop that other hand down, and here we go, meet the elbow to the knee. The small twist of the opposite side, holding it for a two count, bending it just a little, meet that knee to the elbow if you can, if you can't, that's okay, as long as you're twisting. Keep that chin up. Make sure you're not bringing it into your neck. Nice job, guys. We have two more. Here we go. Two. Last one. One. Nice. All right. Let's stretch one more time. Get very close to that wall. If you can, touch it. Ooh, I got really back that time. All right, guys. Open up those feet. Have those heels touch, open up those knees, bring them down for one more time. This time I really want you to really try to stretch. If you can, straighten those arms. If you can't, that's okay. If you're right here, I still want you to try to stretch yourself out just a little bit more than you did the first time and the second time. Nice job. I'm gonna lift up my left side and I'm going to uh, put my right along that wall. I'm gonna hold it there. Again, if you can't go down that much, that's okay. Still want you to lift up this side and put this one down as much as you can. Now lift this side just a little bit and do the opposite side. Nice. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer. Straight legs, guys. Flex those feet for me. Heels are in. I want you to slowly slide up and hold. Tuck in your chin. And then down. All right, put that one hand down here. I want you to put your hand right here. Lift this up behind you and look up towards this hand should feel a little twist in that lower back side of that spine and leg. Slowly bring that back down. This hand's gonna go on the opposite one. This one's gonna start down next to you. Slowly lift it up and then look up towards it, stretching. And release, cross one leg. Um, over the other, put the opposite hand behind that knee, put that hand down and twist towards it. So what I like to do is I push into that knee. So this arm is pushing into this leg and I'm pushing it towards you guys. And hold. My foot is still flexed up there. And release, straighten that other leg. This one's gonna go across 
This one's gonna go over the opposite. This goes right here, and I'm gonna push into that and look. The opposite way that I'm pushing. And release. Nice job, guys. That is it. You have finished your walk workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it. Did you like it? Was it unique? And how are those legs feeling? Because I know mine are burning. So please make sure to drink lots of water. Go for a walk today, even if it's around your house. Just get those muscles moving. Um, so that acid doesn't collect in there and just cause more um, muscle pain. So get that moving, drink that water, and please click that like button. Let me know that you did this workout, and here's to a healthier you. Peace out.